is the way. It has been special, but Claire Curran, it hasn't worked for her in the slams. Why? Well, I think the fact that she's she's done so well in the tournaments outside the slams has put that little bit of extra pressure on her when she's gone into them. And if you think even back to Wimbledon, she won in Birmingham just before Wimbledon. She won two clay court events before the French Open. So she walks into Grand Slams with a lot of expectation on her shoulders, and she hasn't dealt with that particularly well. And when you look at her career and the amount of tennis that she's played, she's won two Grand Slam championships, which is obviously fantastic, and she's made two semi-finals. But for somebody who has the amount of titles that Kvitova has, you would think that and expect that there would be more success in the Grand Slams or more consistency, I should say. Ladies, three minutes. Maybe if she was to lose early here, she would go under the radar at the US Open and be very, very dangerous. But of course, we get to find out what is going to happen here. Serena Williams, who, as I mentioned earlier, was so impressive for me. Arguably the, the most impressive performance we've seen so far from her since her return to the sport after childbirth. And of course, talked a week or so ago about the fragility she felt as being a new mum and, and saying that she couldn't quite do enough for her mum. How important is it for someone in Serena's position to just let everyone know about when you don't feel right, it's okay? Well, I think, you know, being a mum myself, I can only speak from my own experiences of what it feels like to have a child. And obviously, everybody is so happy for you. There's a lot of you know great positivity around, but it's a tough part in your life. And and some people maybe don't talk about Two that, minutes. and it hasn't been spoken about so much. But for someone like Serena Williams to kind of come out and be honest about how she's dealing with the experience of having a new child, everything that goes about that. Well, I think it's important. It's important for women all over the world. She's so inspirational and, and she's a role model. And, and just for people to realize that you know, she's, she's human as well. And well, if she's suffering in, in this way or feeling these emotions, well, then it's okay that I am as well. And, and I think it's been very brave for Serena to step out and, and be so honest about, about her experiences having had her first child, who she clearly adores. It's wonderful to see the relationship between mother and daughter, of course, especially when you have the greatest player of all time. May well have seen the uh, the head-to-head -head just a few moments ago. Kvitova won their last meeting, 6-2, 6-3, in Madrid on the clay. But before that, Serena Williams had won five straight. It's been a while since they last met, 2015 the last time. How much can we read into those head-to-heads, or, or not a lot? Are these two completely different players now? Well, when you think that they've only played each other six times throughout their careers, and I think their first match might have been back in 2010 or 2011, that's 2010, that's a long time ago. Eight years, uh, they're not even playing each other once a year. 30 but seconds. Very different story now, obviously. Serena has had that time out. This match today, if she was to beat Kvitova, it would be her first top 10 victory since coming back after the birth of her baby daughter. So, Ladies and gentlemen, a big Serena step up Williams, for Serena. And of course, that, that disappointing result against Johanna Conte in San Jose. She said her mind was on other things, but she was focused and determined in the first round here. And that defeat and against the Brit is long forgotten after that performance against Jasia Gavrilova. This one should be a firecracker. Sit back and enjoy. Serena Williams, after defeating Dasha Gavrilova, said, this is a journey for me. It's going to come. I'm taking it one day at a time. Will this be a big step in the right direction for the former world number one and 23-time Grand Slam champion?
trying to claim her first top for 10 Sutton. win. Serena Williams, giving sir. Birth. Six on the player who's won the most titles in 2018, right. Petra Kvitova, and it'll be the American to get this one underway. Claire Current and myself, Pete Hodges, to talk you through. First strike, I guess, is going to be key today. Well, it's, it's, just, it's just a different level of opponent tonight that Serena faces in Kvitova. Performance in her last match was exceptional. <laughs> and the ball is obviously going to come harder and faster at Williams today. And Kvitova She's going to have the ability to be able to open up the court and absorb Serena Williams' pressure and pace that she will apply. And Serena's performance at Wimbledon, getting herself all the way to the final, was, was exceptional. She didn't beat a top 10 player in that journey. She didn't have to. Nearly did. Gerges was close to being in the top ten. Of course, is now. Oh, that's an exquisite pickup. Well, when she was warming up her volleys, uh, I was looking at how compact technically she is with them. No backswing. And you can see here from this volley the fact that she just puts her racket out in front. And that backspin that she's able to create. Good hands at the net and lovely composure. Ball is going to stay hit tonight. There's no doubt about that. Rapid rally from both players. In this matchup, it's tricky. Advantage Williams. For Kvitova having to deal with the Williams forehand cross court because it goes into her backhand. And it gives Williams the opportunity to step up and attack more often so than if it was into her forehand. Serena game Williams, who picked up the first game. This encounter having won the toss and elected to serve first. Of course, two this players game. who have made comebacks to the sport in the last 16 months or so for different reasons. The WTA so much richer for it. Also, with Petra Kvitova, the knife attack that happened at the back end of 2016. And it's been a, a magnificent achievement for her psychologically. Petra Kvitova. Anything else to have the year that she's had right in the mix in the Porsche race to Singapore? You saw their five titles in 2018. And they 
Not been small titles either. Some big ones. Keeping Doha. On. Premier Five event. Madrid a Premier Mandatory. She's gone on runs throughout the year. A 14 match win streak through St. Petersburg, Doha, and Indian Wells, and then had a 13 match win streak through Prague, Madrid, and the French Open. Throughout the course of this year, she's 13. found ways to win and get that consistency even when she hasn't played well. And she's spoken about that in her press conferences this week. Um, just that maturity, knowing it doesn't have to be perfect, but just finding a way to navigate her way through matches has mattered. One of the reasons why it was so surprising to see her lose in the first round of Wimbledon, albeit against a very good player in Alexandra Sasnovich. But the manner in which she fell away in the final set, six love, I just feel that she's built another area of her game this year to fall back on. To, to you know, in the past, maybe when her, um, her game style fell away, game it fell away quickly. Well, Wimbledon was uh, a strange experience for so many of the top players. One game on. Going out early there, and Kavita, well, she was the biggest name to go out, especially after winning that Birmingham title. And she lost the last set, six love. And we were speaking about that earlier on, where she almost looked and felt sick. I think just the expectation, the nerves for her, just played too much. She said herself in the press conference afterwards that she was her biggest opponent. Something she's got to deal with mentally. You saw Yuri Vanek there, her coach. I'm sure he'll be working on processes for her ahead of the US Open. Love the team. A great job with it. And the tournaments around the slams. First round exit at the Australian Open and a third round exit at the French. It's terrific depth. She's neutralizing play up the middle successfully. Kvitova. Just when she's in any form of defense, she's going through the middle of the court. mentioned earlier uh, about Serena Williams not beating a top 10 player since returning to the sport in March. 15, she's also struggled when she's come up against big hitters. And you look at who she's lost to since then. Venus Williams in Indian Wells. Osaka in Miami. Withdrew from the French Open. And then Conta in San Jose. But I think physically, on. Serena Williams is still getting herself back into the type of shape that she was before the baby and obviously when you have a child in terms of your body physically you lose the strength but also there's there's softness in your body and in terms of the joints and different things and add that into the fact that that she had a difficult delivery just getting herself back into that physical form has been tough so when you play against big strikers at the game they're going to come at you and they're going to put you into awkward positions in the court and that will take time for Serena. She's just got to be patient. But one thing was clear at Wimbledon is that she has the striking car and the weight of shot to be able to keep control of that baseline. And she's found herself so broken here. Right Superb return from Kvitova. I'm saying that. I don't know it was because we're going to wait to see what Hawkeye thinks because Serena Williams has challenged it. I think Kvitova felt it was good straight away. Here's the clenched fist. Here we go. Oh, it is just long. And Serena survives. Dukes. Can 
Kovacic, Primora Toglu, enjoyed that Hawkeye call. It's a brutal one-two punch. So strong off her back foot there. And she rotates her Williams. body backwards in order to get the par. Steals the point. What a shot that is from well, Kvitova. Well, she had to use all her hand skills here. The ball was underneath the height of the net. Soft hands. Well played. There is, of course, her husband. She's going after that return, Kvitova. Advantage, Williams. Williams. May have made the mistake, but it feel like a good unforced error for Kvitova. Alexis, so invested in his wife, courtside. You can see he lives every moment. He's invested in a few things <laughs> throughout his time. Big hole okay. for Serena Williams. Kvitova was all of about half an inch away from stealing the break. But Serena Williams, Williams survives. Two games to one. Still on serve, first set. Night has fallen. Ladies and gentlemen, Cincinnati. please take your seats quickly. Five Thank minutes you. to 9 p.m. local time. Still a few milling around outside this wonderful stadium. I'm sure a lot of them hoping that they had a ticket for centre court. Well, it's an important game, a bit of it. Just missed out on the break in the previous game. The call on the right long to myself. Line judge on the baseline under pressure early on. Well, both players staying up on the baseline. Mm, times that's difficult then for the line judge to see the ball. Much easier for a player who's right there.
just simple. Good serving into the body, jamming Williams. 14. Getting a couple of nice short balls as a result. Easy putaways. Game. It's about it being an important game for Kvitova, having nearly broken in the previous one, maybe a bit of a hangover effect, none whatsoever in that game for the Czech. That's to love and pressure right back on the Americans' shoulders. Kvitova's just looked like she's seeing the ball in the centre of the string, she's seeing it early, striking it well. One of the things we mentioned in the warm-up, I asked you the question Lovely. whether you thought the head-to-head -head mattered so much. The last meeting coming back in 2015 and saying both have been through a lot since then. But you kind of feel the fact that Kvitova has beaten Serena Williams and beat her comfortably in their last match. So often, there's a, almost Lovely. an aura about a player playing Serena Williams where you think, do they actually believe they can beat one of the greatest that has ever played the game. And you kind of feel with just looking at Kvitova, she, she looks like she believes she can tonight. Or am I reading too much into that? Well, with five titles this year, Beating Serena on their last meeting. 15, and knowing that Serena is at the very beginning of a comeback, there's no better time for Petra Kvitova to score another victory against Serena, and she will be aware of that. She is striking the ball with venom. She's just trying to 15, get Williams on the back foot and looks in terms of the two players heading off the baseline. She's got just a little bit more aggression in her. Two break points once again for the eighth seed. Such quality ball striking early on in the rally. Well, when she has time on the ball, 30, Serena 30. Williams, she's devastating with her ground strokes. Never holds back. This time the break is secured for Petra Kvitova. Seeing it like a football out there. Pace of the rally, just electric. Three games to two. That is the eighth seed who leads by three games to two.
It's been such an impressive start from Petra Kvitov. Just looks so focused out there, the Czech, of course, knows that the American crowd will be getting right behind her opponent, dealing with everything that's come at it so well. Needing to back the break up now, as the old saying goes. Just had that look about her from the minute that she walked onto the court Love tonight. A bit of a, she's got the bit between her teeth. She's played some big matches in her career. Her country, Grand Slam finals. She's just got that look about her tonight. Oh, that's just such. A brilliant point. And what a response from Serena Williams. Long and she's trying to up the tempo here, Serena. She's trying to get Kvitova on the move. She can't afford to be dictated to. Fifteen thirty. First ace for Kvitova. She's fifth in the rankings for most aces. 2018. It's such an effective serve, left handed serve going out to the ad court. 30 on. Slices it. Doesn't hit it hard. Moves the ball. Smart as well, playing a bit of poker. A bit of a short. Serena Williams was expecting that one to the forehand side off the second serve. Oh, that's just scintillating hey, tennis from Kvitova. Had to reset herself. Stayed so cool, calm and collected on the final ball. Well, she just never Kvitova took her eyes off the ball today. here. Serena does well, just getting it back. Racket head speed again, superb angle. Not much Serena can do about that. And Serena Williams hasn't done a lot wrong in the first 23 minutes or so. It's all been about the player in your picture. Kvitova playing this match on her terms. 15 lines. She's had such a positive mindset to start the points off with. Williams wanted it. Looks out to me as well, yes. One of those shots. Williams trying to call just on the left good. far side line. The ball was called out. Felt good, but I'm not confident she's going to have success with this. And it's just wide. 15 0. Williams has two challenges remaining. 
first ace for the former world number one. 40 for team. First game in four game for Williams. Serena Williams. Such a competitor. New ball though, leading 4 3 first set. Vidova leads four games to three. Make the most of your Western and Southern Open experience with the official Western and Southern Open mobile app. It's loaded. to me as, as well, yes. Miss Williams training the call on the left pass. Natasha Gavrilova yesterday, the, the change of ends when she called her coach on, said, I'm not enjoying this, and yet I'm playing Serena Williams. To say I'm playing Serena Williams in this big stadium. This should be one of the, the best days of my life. And you feel Petra Kvitova, the first 28 minutes or so, has really enjoyed it. Upper break and has new balls here, 4-3. Oh! Lovely. Well, Kvitova knows that she has the weapons in her toolbox to hurt Venus Williams tonight, and it's just up to her whether she can bring them. I'm so glad that I said Venus Williams when we're talking about <laughs> Serena Williams. Oh, it's late, it's late. It's late in the evening, but she has the weapons to hurt either Williams' sister. And she can't afford to give Third Serena any time on the ball. She's got to stay up on the baseline, and like she's been doing so far in this set, Looking for that first strike. Any opportunity as well to open up the court. She'll take it. Oh. And Serena read that. Good body serve. Just got out of the way in time. Serena. 40, Very good job backing up the second serve, Kvitova. All about what Serena Williams usually does to second serves. She has now won six out of nine points behind the second and got her on the stretch there too. And got her on the front foot. And trying to inspire world number 27. Well, that is just too good from Kvitova. Talked about it 
Must be going under the radar of the US Open. Just like this one so far, it's not going to be the case. Well, no, it's not. And look how quickly she gets up for that ball after her serve. And pattern-wise, she's so aware of what's coming at her from Serena. It helps her to prepare early and pick a target as well. Wow. Long deep. Well, that's just that's just got the Petra Kvitova treatment, that serve. She gets out of the way so quickly, and again, she's just reading the ball early. And that was almost the point just to say, how dare you return my serve like that from Serena Williams. Well, Kvitova did well just getting the serve back into play, 15. and then the next ball reading again the play doesn't hold back with her smash Let's first service not going to help the Serena Williams stare. 15, 13. Well, that is just incredible return of serve. And there's an element of luck, but a big element of huge ability. Just shows you how wired in Petra Kvitova is right now. She's nearly pulled off another. Just completely locked in right now. 30. Letting the racket do the talking. She's playing freely. Having a swing at it. I think Serena Williams knows this is the first serve. She's going to be on the back foot once again. Kvitova not holding back. With that return, gives herself a set point. Kvitova with a simply stunning set of tennis. Devastating brand of attacking tennis. Something that we're so used to seeing from Serena Williams, but that was astonishing stuff from Kvitova. Takes the first set 6-3 in 33 minutes.
the reaction after winning the set from Patrick Kvitova. Just shows that she believes. Sorry. That's what it looks like right now. A lot of belief from the eighth seed. Can she keep it going, though? That's the question. Well, it was a contained response reaction after winning that first set. She Second knows that there's still a long way to go in this match. Put so much variety 51. on that second serve. Doesn't let Williams settle when returning it. Going body, backhand, forehand, never giving her the same look. Well, there you go. That's uh, the result of all that variety. 70% of points behind the second serve. She's been able to win. She's been exceptional behind the first serve too. 11 from 12. I mean, we've talked a lot about just how well Kvitova's playing. Is there anything Serena Williams can do here to stem the tide? Well, she's got to get her out of the pattern of just being able to hit in that hitting zone. Kvitova's so comfortable at the moment with Serena Williams' pace. Let's how does she do that? Seven. She's got to vary up the pace, and I think on her serve, Williams takes some pace off some of the serves, hit through some of them, give a different look. At the moment, she's trying to win this match with tempo and pace. And Kvitova, she's standing up to that. And she's got such a good strike. She's moving so well. Serena, she's going to have to just take a bit of pace off sometimes, open up the court, find ways. And she's definitely thinking about it. How has Petra Kvitova won Game that point? Vitova. Astonishing defence from the eighth seed. Seemingly First getting better seconds. and better. Well, one of the best first sets of tennis that I've seen from Petra Kvitova. Not overly surprised based on what she's been producing through the season in terms of winning titles. But really, it, it seemed like it was a perfect display behind that first serve and statistically you can see that it was 91 percent of points behind the first serve and just kept that unforced error count down and made williams make those unforced errors with her forceful play well, i was saying at the sit down for, for us it was the return from kvita but i can't remember her hitting one short Almost every single return has seemingly been within about three feet of the baseline Let's not forget she's Beauty doing line. that off a Serena Williams serve. It's not exactly being rolled over. Well, she's enjoying Beauty the line. pace that Williams is providing her with. And I think if Serena can just vary it a little bit here, throw in a soft one. Uh, 30 or a slice. And just make a bit of a doubt that return of serve, doubt her strike. We start to see a few more unforced errors creeping in to the bit of a game. Boosting hold for Williams. 
Any service hold at this point will give her confidence, but being able to win four straight points in a row and put the pressure straight back onto Kvitova service game, that's ideal for Serena Williams. Special place, this Cincinnati. Lights are on. Everyone absorbed by the contest they're witnessing on center court. Going for a lot behind the baseline. Got to find a way to work our way back into these points. Second it's not often that Serena Williams finds herself out hit, which is what is happening so far tonight. Psychologically, what sort of an effect is that going to have on her? Well, she doesn't expect ever to be out hit by uh, any opponent on any given day. She always feels that she can go to her strike when in trouble. And I think in that first set, she really realized that that's not going to happen tonight against a player like Kvitova, who's just hitting so heavy and hard behind every single ball. She's got to find something else. Missed it this time. And Kvitova is moving so well around the court. And when she's in that rally there, she's defending. She's quick to get back into the center of the court. Unforced error. Just, she's got to keep going for it. Taken 45 minutes. Serena Williams finally has a break point.
which is the left that's a gutsy serve that is in or out has the gamble paid off i think that is in what a serve from kvitova and it has found the light well, sense. under pressure Deuce. going for kvitova williams has two challenges remaining Maybe that's what it will take for her, from her tonight. Well, that's a great point, though, from Serena once again. And this is when Serena Williams is so tight, so tough to play against because Advantage Williams. she can seek that. She seeks that opportunity. She knows when somebody's feeling the pressure. And she pounds on them. Another break point. Once again, saved by that lefty ace. This time off a first serve. And she can't yes. read the serve. Kvitova's ball toss is just perfect. Could go either way with that serve down the tee or wide. David Vidra. The strainer. A sterling job. It's come back on Kvitova's side. Advantage Williams. And this is the, the first very, very subtle drop in form Kvitova's had through this match. Does he go for the slider out wide again? Why not make it a hat-trick? Well, for someone like Serena Williams, who just deals in perfection, being aced three times to the same spot on break points, that will hurt. When you say same spot. Literally. <laughs> Could have put a dime there. Advantage. Why not hit the other line as well? Let's mix it up a bit. Where's she going here? <laughs> I think it's time to mix it up. Maybe T. Oh, well, would she have the audacity to go for the same serve? I was going for it. I suppose if it works, why change? Will she go again? <laughs> Not this time. May well go back to the slider next time, though. After the full treatment of that return from Williams. Well, it's great composure from Williams. Yes. She gets her feet around this, picks the target nice and early, short swing. That will feel a lot better. Continues to be aggressive uh, behind that second TV. serve. Swinging away from Serena Williams. Comfortably the longest game of the match. Of course, with that with it being a long game, the significance of it heightening. Serena knew it was coming well inside the baseline to cut the angle. Deuce. I may well say, build on the cap. She's building a platform here, Serena Williams, to make a comeback in this encounter. Oh, she's taking her game up another level here, Serena Williams. Taking a step inside the baseline to return these serves. And she's and picking it Williams. early.
missed it. A bit of a got there in the end, and you have to say it was terrific movement from the Czech to get to that net court as quickly as she did. Well, she was so hungry to get up the court, Jeez. pick up that net court, but she took such care with each of the shots when she got there. And you can understand her fitness trainer applauding that point. Well, that's the hard work that they put in. And it feels good when you see the rewards. So Serena Williams's movement. Oh. Redlining right now is Serena Williams off the return. Well, that's twice in a row. She's had the same return into the forehand. Advantage Williams. And we've seen her hit many winners on that forehand return in this game. Break point number five. What a game from Serena Williams as she breaks Petra Kvitova. Stunning tennis all round. And this Cincinnati crowd absolutely loving every second of it. Williams leads two games to one. crowd if they needed livening up any more getting Patrick Noratoglu on the kiss cap got a hug not a kiss Serena Williams though isn't thinking about that right now what a game that was uh, former world number one has the break now in set two She had to play such a high level, Williams, just to get that break against Kvitova. Oh! You know, it's sort of about building momentum. Before that break, had a love service hold. It's the first point she's lost on serve. Second set. Great movement from Serena Williams. And from a movement perspective, that will give her so much confidence. Had to cover so much ground there. 
This was the thing last night against Gavrilova. Australia did manoeuvre Serena Williams around the court and she seemed to take it in her stride. <laughs> so, taking it all one day at a time, Serena Williams has said. Looks like she is improving day after day after day. Sat up to be hit. And Kvitova did just that. Total conviction from Kvitova. 30 on. Took the ball on so early, saw the angle. And Serena couldn't even react to that. Too good. It with her forehand return. Well, there was no distinct reaction from Kvitova when she was broken in the previous game. Just to get the break straight back here. Well, I wonder had she broke the resilience of Kvitova Williams with that last break of serve that she got but she's been right back there Kvitova in this game just kind of wish one of these players would hit the ball with a bit more conviction <laughs> a little bit harder as well advantage Williams Maybe, you know, go for it a bit more. <laughs> Stunning, really, just how few unforced errors we've seen. How much they are putting into each shot. There is an unforced yes. error. It's a bit of it again on the stretch, finds the return of serve. Trainer is pumped. Kvitova has so much credit for making that so tough for Advantage. Serena Williams. Too much pace on that ball for Williams to try to hit a backspin volley. You can see here that her racket head just drops. Didn't push out forward. She couldn't control the contact point. Survives again. Deuce. Signs again that Williams is just able more often now to get Kvitova back behind that baseline, pushing her back all the time. That was big. 117 miles per hour. Advantage, Williams. Second ace for Williams. And again, Kvitova finds the return. She's having to deal with some of the biggest serves that she has seen throughout her career. Reading it early, making her play.
complete conviction in everything Petra Kvita is doing. And it has to be. Had to win and that point it. two it's different it. times. Serena defending well again. And if she didn't go for it on that shot, Serena Williams would take her opportunity. There's no other way Kvita can play here. Yes. Three break points that have come and gone in the game. Just feel what a psychological blow this would be to Kvitova. She didn't win either of these two games. And there's a serve where she just takes a little bit of pace off it. Advantage Williams. to save three break points but it's Serena Williams who has won two epic games in a row Williams the response three games of a one. great champion She'd like to find a first serve here, Kvitova. She's aggressive with that second serve, but expect she will start to produce some double faults. She's going for it. Oh, yes. Magical. Well, that's the first time that she's seen Kvitova serve volley, but you think that Williams, with this lob, that she's expecting it. She's ready for super disguise, great height on the ball. She makes that look so easy. It really has been a high-quality affair, this one. 40 continues that way. Doesn't look like changing. Game beating. First game in four for Kvitova. And Serena Williams, who now leads in Williams set two. Three games to two. Three games to two.
time. Utterly absorbing this contest has been. Percentage in terms of points one. Look at that, what Serena Williams has done off the return. And this match is completely flipped, hasn't it? In set two. Oh. Well, she navigated her way through a couple of really tricky Fifi games. Months. Williams in this set, earned that break and then consolidated. But last service game from Cavito was impressive. Good response. And it's important for Cavito that she just stays with Williams here. Brings such a good level to the court making Serena Williams play at her highest level. Oh. Legends of the game always talk about how 30, other players force them to be better become better. I kind of feel it's almost been a bit of a microcosm in this match. So we just had to force herself to become better. And maybe just what she needs at this stage in her comeback. It's safe to say, Williams leads Cincinnati crowd, the majority of them, want to decide. Long way off it yet, though. Let's for seven. Like she's getting time on the ball now. Serena Williams. Love it. And look again how easily she finds the winner. Any amount of space, she just takes it. I suppose the thing that's going to be hard for Kvitova here is it's about possibly her, her level dropping. It, it maybe dropped for two or three points in the third game of this set, but other than that, it really hasn't. And she's still playing exceptional tennis, yet being beaten. It's got to be tough mentally. And maybe that's the reason why we to see a couple more errors like that. Well, no doubt it is tough mentally, and to be lose serve in such a tight game was difficult for her, but it's positive in the sense that she's still keeping her level high even after that disappointment. She could have quite easily gone away in this set. But she hasn't. She may still get another opportunity to get back into it.
phenomenal. How hard did Serena Williams have to work to win that point? But she made it work. Well, it doesn't get much better than this from Serena Williams, 13, hitting the shot 14. and then using a little drop shot. She follows it into the net, so important. And an easy put away as a result. Game Williams. Just amazing. Quite incredible return from Serena Williams as she breaks again. What a match. Game away from going the distance now. Serena Williams 5 2 in front. Je to prostě o pár balonek, vidíš, že prostě ona, hele, uh, chodíš do toho pořád stejně, pořád jedeš, pořád tvůj kůr, když tě ona běžene do toho krosu trošku, nemusíš s tím backendem se snažit hrát dobrý krof, to ona si otvírá a pak, pak jde s tou lajnou, to má nebezpečný, jo? Mm -hmm. Že klidně od tebe může být backend po lajně, víš, když dáš servis, ona ti jde do toho krosu, a nebo, a nebo hraj prostředek, jo? Pořád do toho jdeš, víš, že jsou pořád šance, je to o, malý, o maličkostech. Zůstaneš, že to je jenom o tom silná hlava a věříš tomu. Ona zase, pak ti dá, tak ona, když je nahoře, tak je brutálně. Jakmile to začne být zase trošku taj, tak to bude zase dobrý. Jo? Jeden, pořád na to koukej. Jeden, pořád zkusíš ještě zmáčnout tenhle gem, podržíš servis a zkusíš zvalčit ještě ten rozvoj set. A když ne, začátek třetího setu, chceš ty těžké stavy v obrace, to je ono, na tom to záleží. Jo? Pojď, pojď, hraješ dobře, jako není co to, pojď do toho aktivně, u těch returnů pořád, pořád jdeš do toho, když se zvedáš, tak tě to ulítne. Zprava, ty nezahraješ skoro druhý stary zven z kurtu, pořád ti refore nebo tělo, zprava, jo, ty nedala ani jeden ven, tak jeden, pojď, hlava nahoru, pořád, pozvuzu se, jeden, pojď. Incredible return to get a second break of serve in this second set. And an added cushion for Serena Williams, who has new balls too here. She looks to take us to a third set, serving for the second, 5-2. 118 miles per hour. He didn't even move that. Did call Yuri Vanek on to consult with. Change of ends, the check. Oh. What do you think Vanek might have said to, to give it a bit? Of course, we don't speak Czech. Well, I think Serena Williams in this set, she's had an awful lot of looks at her forehand. She's been able to dominate play with that. I think he's going to be trying to say to her, think about the direction of your shots. But it's Serena Williams. She's really taken the racket out of Kvitova's hand in this set with her serving. She's been dominant. And uh, the reason that's so impressive is because of the quality of the Petra Kvitova service return through the first set. Kvitova wasn't serving bad. Sorry, Serena wasn't serving badly at all, but Kvitova was just reading it. Serena has taken her serve to another level in set two. It's been 100 mile an hour tennis. More than that. And both players just refusing 40, 30, to take their foot off the gas. Serena Williams with a set point. Oh. A sensational hey, set of tennis from Serena Williams. Williams. That has to be the best of 2018. What a response the from the great champion. We're going the distance. Takes the second set, 
Keegan again to two. One set off. Both players, understandably, taking time just to get a change of clothes. Humid conditions, it has been electric tennis from the get-go, this one. It's what we were hoping for, and it certainly lived up to expectations. Kvitek came out firing, her movement's been exceptional, and then didn't really drop her level much, and Serena Williams just took it to another level. Well, she raised the bar, Serena Williams, and she had to because of the quality of the Sorry. tennis that was coming from Kvitova, especially on the return of serve games in that first set. And Serena Williams, this is such an important match for her in her comeback. What did she do for you to make those stats flip in terms of Serena Williams winning a lot of points off the first serve from Kvitova, whereas... In the first set, she only won one point out of 12. Well, she raised her game on her serve, and she started to hit the line. And it's amazing that she has the service. confidence and the ability to be able to do that, Serena Williams. Just seemingly reading the serve line. as well. First serve on the return. Almost doing what Kvitova did to her in the first set, where the check was returning within a few feet of the baseline time and time again. Certainly got tighter to the baseline too, Serena Williams, to cut off those angles. And Kvitova has been serving well throughout this match, but in that second set there was a couple of times where she just got a little bit too predictable used the wide serve a lot on the ad court serena started to pick it up so i ask you the question yeah set one what, what could serena Serious williams easy. do same question regarding Petra Kvitova because all the momentum 
now is with the American. Well, she's got to accept that Serena Williams is now returning really well. And that last shot that she missed on the third ball, she can't afford to do that in this third set. Serena's going to make her play every single 14. return of serve. She's got to accept that. She's seeing the ball so well now. But it's got to be ready now for the shot after her serve. Got to dominate the baseline exchanges with it and control these service games. in terms of the body serve if Serena Williams is standing tighter to the baseline. A couple of those, but Williams seeing it like a football right now. Oh, I mean, it's just awesome. She just has no doubt in her ability. And... It's just incredible to be able to watch this type of performance. I mean, that return of serve on the baseline deep, you can't get much better than that. But it's the conviction she has in finding the winner with the shot after. Three times. She's missed the third ball Advantage in this Williams. service game. And it's almost understandable because her brain must be frazzled with what her opponent produced in the second set. Maybe just over-forcing now the bit of a break point early on. The former world number one. Seeing early on from Petra Kvitova. But Williams giving nothing away as the two time Cincinnati Missing champion breaks early in set three. Well, just incredible match IQ Serena Williams has. And in that second set, we'll see a few of the statistics. And more than anything, what she did was she reversed the Kvitova dominance behind serve in the first set. And she made it all about Serena Williams, 84% of points that she won behind that first serve. And it just put so much pressure on Kvitova, didn't give her enough looks. And then ultimately those unforced errors accumulated. On a roll right now. <laughs> Looking to try and win a... Love Fourth straight game here, Serena Williams. Incidentally, looking to try and win a 12th straight match at Cincinnati. Said after her, her win against Gavrilova, how much she loves being back in this city. Well, that's two times she was here for the tournament. She won it. Champion in 2014, 2015 as well. She's only lost one match in the... The last three years she was here, and that was in the final to Azarenka, 7-6 in the third. And then after the Third first set with this match, when Kvitova really dominated play, he asked me, what did Williams have to do better? 
spoke about maybe varying it a little bit with her serve in terms of pace, but what Serena Williams actually did is she just got better at what she was doing. Again, the quality and the reaction from Kvitova. Well, this time it's Kvitova's turn to get better at what she's doing. 30-40. So determined in defence there. Anytime she has the opportunity and the time, she's got to stay aggressive like she did. Just to get the break straight back. Simply sublime from Kvitova. Something that really has stood out today, as it has throughout 2018, has been a movement. And the Czech stops the rot, breaks straight back in set three. Well, the fact that she looks sharper around the court, when she's in those defensive situations, she's not having to chip the ball back. She's able to get her body behind the ball and be aggressive in defense. An improvement she's made in her game. Oh. Psychology as well of this encounter. So fascinating. We said early on in this match that there was a player who looked like she believed she was going to beat the 23 time Grand Slam winner. And she lost a couple of very long games in the second set. Hasn't really had the same aura about her. Love the reaction. Only the last couple of points, though, from the Czech. Thirteen. So it's been important for her early in this set that she did respond positively. Serena started to look like she was going away with it. Just the hunger and the determination to get that break back. And there's been 14. no signs from Kvitova in this last set that that she's upset in any way. She's just taken on board that Williams has played at such a high level. Her body language has been so good. She hasn't whined or complained. She's getting on with the job, staying present. Game beaten. Just like that, the momentum shifts. And now, all of a sudden, it's with the check. Kvitova leads two Kvitova games to leads one. Two one in the decider. Okay, fans, it's time for the flex cam brought to you by us two by flex. Give us your best flex. Are you ready? There you go.
Well, they're having some fun. They're on centre court. It's the gun show. <laughs> Never shy in coming forward, are they, in the States? Great to see so many smiles. Everyone's been loving the entertainment. And of course, the stars of the show have been Petra Kvitova and Serena Williams. Royally entertained. The Western and Southern Open. It's what has been a thoroughly absorbing encounter. I mean, Serena Williams mentioned this a few times. She's on a journey. And it's going to come. I mentioned it's probably the most impressive set of tennis since her comeback in the previous set. And that's saying Love something when she reached the final of Wimbledon. Would you go along with that, Claire? Well, I would, and I was about to say that exact same thing. That bearing in mind, she's just made a final of a Grand Slam. Well, this has been. Such a positive performance so far from Williams. She may end up losing the match. Under pressure here. Oh. She's moving so much better now than even a month ago. Now it's going to continue to improve. She looks stronger. Never been any question marks over the determination and the character. All oh, that competitive desire. 30 on. So much has changed for her. And yet that remains the same. Certainly an American net tonight. A couple of those have come back off Kavita this side. 30. Wonderful pickup though off the return from Williams. Just gets better and better. Well, she deals with everything that Kvitova throws at her there, and that time Kvitova went to the backhand. But Serena is so Two solid. Minutes. It's a gutsy hold, isn't it? From Love 30 down, having lost the previous two games. These two, like two prize fighters, both of them keep getting in blows that you think are going to be knockout blows but they keep coming back and during Wimbledon it looked like Serena, when you got her into the corners, it was tricky for her to get out of those corners. That strength of movement wasn't there. There's been no signs of that this evening at all. I've got to say as well, last time these two met it was 2015. Let's just hope it's not 13. another three years before they meet again. 
ace for the check. And I know we keep talking about the quality of this match. The stats may not back it up. What we mean is the amount of top serves and returns. The first strike of both players being so good. A lot of players wouldn't have been able to live with either trying to return the serve or reacting off the return. There's another example. I mean, that will go down as an unforced error, but shot from Kvitova, full stretch, knifing down the back of the ball. Soft slice, difficult to play, and Serena can't afford not to be really aggressive with every shot that she gets. It's going to bring up a couple more unforced errors, of course. Game, Kvitova. <laughs> Service hold then for Kvitova. 3 2. Kvitova leads three games to two. Having a good clean. Who's going to clean up here? That's the question. Still right in the balance. Serena's going to have to maintain the high level of serving she's been producing. Look at that quality of your return. has been irresistible. Oh, it's more exceptional tennis from both players. Well, both of them have come to the net so often this evening. But the quality of the volleying has been exceptional. Full stretch. A bit of his passing shot attempt. Excellent. Racket out in front. And do you think Serena Williams wants to win this match? I think she's enjoying every second. Being back out on the big stage. Competing, particularly at this level. Well, that stretch volley, first class from Serena Williams. So a couple of really nice approaches to the net from both players. ask why do we not see more women come to the net and it's because of ground strokes like that so difficult 
in this era to come forward. Serena continues to go for the lines off these serves. It's going to give it a bit of a full stretch. Let's first seven. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a rocket from Serena Williams. Those long levers, six feet tall, coming in handy for the check. Once again, Kvitova about going into the backhand of Williams, being patient, reading yes. them for a slower ball, and she's so quick up to it, and then can attack with pace into the forehand. How good it's got to be, though, to pretty much nearly get it past Serena Williams, right into the corner, struck with real pace and venom. See that Kavita is the bit between her teeth right now. Knows the significance of this game. So hungry, Kavita right now. She's doing anything that she can to get the ball back into play and to stay aggressive. And look how much it means to her. Break point for the world number six. To serve though from Serena Williams. And these moments bring out the very best in these two champions. Serena Williams' response yes. yet again. First serve on the line. In a way, this match has kind of made you feel I've missed these two. Well, the contrast to Halep and Wozniacki, two players that are number one and two at the world right now, totally different game styles. And that's what makes this women's tour so intriguing, so many different versatile players. Second break point for Kvitova. How many of those stretching, game sprawling game returns has Kvitova made today as she steals the game and takes the break leads to lead 4-2 four four two in the decider. Well, what a terrific job she's done in finding a way to win Kvitova. And in that second set, when Williams was dominating, she never dropped her head throughout. She always kept an eye on the performance in front of her, point by point. And it's paid off now. Finally got that reward. And back 
in that first service game of the third set. Love the Three times she missed the third ball. She can't afford to do it. You're making it sound like it's easy. <laughs> I mean, that one was on her toes. By the time she'd landed. Oh. This time slightly shorter. Of course, much more time on the ball. Oh, well, these women practice it. <laughs> So often serve and next ball, it's key. I think that people's service games are won just by delivering of big serves, but really it's what they do with the next strike. Now, talking of the serve, particularly from the advantage court side, it's certainly started varying it more often. Oh. There was a game earlier on, if you weren't with us, where she hit three aces in a row from the advantage court side, out wide, all on the line. core strength to play that backhand. And one of those aces, of course, was a second serve. Okay. Kovetov is playing that backhand. She's looking for that opportunity to come towards the net. It's not something she did in the early days of her career. Incidentally, she lost that game when she hit those three aces. She really shows you the quality of the match. Simplifying the sport. How many matches has she won by playing that combination? 40, 50. You don't have the answer. 321. <laughs> Am I right? Game She's won 390 legal. matches throughout her career, Petra Kvitova. She's closing in on win number 391. And it would be one of the biggest. She can take down the 23-time Grand Slam champion. Leeds 5-2. Hey fans, the Western Southern Open features free subscribe Wi-Fi. Powered by Cameronet. Get faster access to live scores, results, and event information by connecting to fan Wi-Fi by Cameronet. Cameronet, the official Wi-Fi provider of the Western and Southern Open. The fell at that one. I'm afraid not the star of the show, though. These two players are certainly the stars of the show tonight. It has been a humdinger. And Serena Williams keep this encounter going. Serving to stay in the match now, 2-5. So simple. Serena Williams, anyway. Slice the serve out wide, wait it for the open court. Didn't guide the ball into the open court, stayed aggressive. Well, she's lost the last few games, Serena Williams, but. 13 He's so good. Knows when to up her level. First couple of points. Serving to stay in the match. One in a flash. Make that first three points one in a flash. 40 left. Game Williams. 
what a game. New balls, please. Well, she can't believe she's in this situation, and that's the belief that she has in herself. Five games to three. I almost feel the shake of the head is, where were those aces in my previous service game when I really needed them? But she's still out there fighting and swinging. Has to find a break of serve here. Whatever has done well in set three has varied that serve. She's kept Serena guessing more than she did in set two. First serves here, though, could be pivotal. New balls, two for the Czech, serving for the match. Again, though, from Serena Williams, it's four points in a row now. In fact, five. And this is now a whole different situation for Kvitova serving for the match against Serena Williams. That's that little bit of pressure onto her serve. She knows Williams will make her play everything here. Bounce. She worked so hard to get back into the point. Serena Williams. Safety not. Just had that opportunity pulled off slightly. It's a big difference in the match on four stairs. Williams 35. Kvitova only 22. Where did that come from, Serena Williams? She's putting her heart and soul into this match. Full stretch, just making the return of serve. Really had no right. And what a passing shot. And that has got to hurt. Is it meant to be Serena Williams' night? Such a good comeback. Not an easy shot to hit there, having lost Serbia. that last point. Good response. This is a challenge right now for Kvitova. Just catches the baseline, the right baseline, or does it? Look close. Williams' reaction suggests that I think she thinks it's on the line. Worth a challenge though at this stage of the match, no doubt about that. It is on the line, and with that, it will be a match point for Petra Kvitova. to go home on centre court. Serena Williams isn't going home just yet. Well, you can't get much better than that. Facing a match point. Look yes. at the quality of this return of serve from Serena Williams. <laughs> Kvitova so desperate to get it back into play. What a champion. quite believe it Advantage, she's done so well in this game has made give of a play not on that occasion and it's match point number two <laughs> K 
Kvitova wins a classic in Cincinnati. It was blocked by Stetanis from start to finish. And it is the Czech who comes out on top. But Serena Williams certainly takes a step in the right direction. It was phenomenal tennis. Kvitova gets the better of Serena Williams for just the second time in her career and moves through to round three here in Cincinnati. Defeats the 23-time Grand Slam champion. 6-3, 2-6, 6-3 in an hour and 59 minutes. Well, it really was a popcorn match this evening, and it was a great performance by both of these champions tonight. And for Serena Williams just leaving the court, she shouldn't be too disheartened by that performance tonight. There's so many improvements that have been made even since Wimbledon four weeks ago, but it was all about Petra Kvitova, the way that she started the match, her attitude from the very first point to the last point. And I'm sure that's probably what Patrick Moratogli will be saying to her in terms of certainly the positives well outweigh the negatives. She talked about it being a, a one day at a time thing and saying that it's going to come. And on that performance, it certainly is. But it's Kvitova who is now caught side having claimed such a big win. Petra, you played her now seven times. That's only the second time you have beaten her. So it's got to feel like a big successful win for you. Yeah, definitely. and uh, play on the biggest level we can and uh, it's always a pleasure to share a court with, with her and I'm just happy that uh, I was performing uh, pretty well today. How were you able to do it tonight? Uh, split set, Serena was uh, put it up to another gear and then you had to go to another gear. What do you think was the key tonight? Well, yeah, after the second set, she really pushed me a lot. Uh, I just tried to stay focused on my serve and just try to return anything. Uh, in the rallies, it was 50-50, so I just really tried to put the return back to the court and just play what, what I can in the moment. Serena's talked a lot about her journey back to the top of the game. Let's talk about your journey back to the top of the game. You've won five tournaments this year. A lot of people missed you when you were away. You really do belong back out on this court, Petra. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, we all know how tough it is to come back to play on the great level as we wanted to compete with the best players. Um, yeah, since this season and since my coming back, I play really great. I couldn't really imagine myself to be in the top 10 uh, in a year of coming back. So it was a lot of hard work putting to, to the rehab and to the game to a lot of, you know, a lot of things to uh, do and still it's a lot of things to do in the head. Well, we love watching it. Best of luck to you. Welcome to Cincinnati, Ohio. Petra Kvitova. Thank you. Such a popular and great champion is Petra Kvitova. Well loved wherever she goes. And you can understand the beaming smile on her face after that performance. Well, she's so much appreciation for what she's out here doing. And obviously, having gone through so much, you can understand that. But she was just so impressive tonight so dominant off the ground and to be able to hit more winners than unforced errors against a player like serena williams really tells the story of the match and she forced serena williams into those 36 errors as well with her dominant play behind her serve and her return of serve and let's just remember these unforced errors weren't coming off slow balls they were coming off balls that were traveling both players playing with such conviction and uh, well that was an absolute cracker and if the, the next match against uh, Kiki Mladenovic is half as good as that one you're in for a treat but that is who Kvitova will take on in the next round and that concludes the night session here at the Western and Southern Open of course uh, my colleagues Mel South and Ravi Uber will be back tomorrow along with Claire Curran and myself Pete Rogers but from everyone here in uh, the WTA wish you a good night. Speak to you tomorrow. Goodbye.